This morning I've met up with my friend Tom Peters, who many of you will know as Photo Ninja from your YouTube channel. Um, Hopefully. Yep. <laughs> um, and if you don't, then definitely go and check out his channel because it's absolutely fantastic. Um, but we've come down to a spot called Savonac. Have I said that right? Savonac Forest. Savonac yeah. Forest, which is near where you grew up, I think. Yeah, near yeah. Swindon. Um, it's the biggest forest in Wiltshire, I would say. Oh. I don't know if that's technically, technically correct, right. but I'm, that's what I'm going to say. Anyway, yeah. Yep. Um, so this is actually the first time we've met up for photography. I met Tom at the photo show earlier this year. Um, yeah, I keep forgetting that was this year. I keep, yeah, so same. Late I keep year, saying yeah. last year. Yeah, yeah. but yeah. So, um, so this is the first time we've, we've mm. met up for photography. Um, but we thought we'd come down here because you've not photographed this spot before, I have no. you? No, no, I haven't. No, um, and I haven't photographed it either. So we thought we'd come down to sort of scout it out, see what sort of potential it has. Um, conditions this morning aren't perfect mm. for woodland photography. So I don't know about you, but I'm certainly struggling. Yeah, it's hard. Yeah, like like you've taken some intimate shots. Um, I think yeah, that's, and I think that's the way to go. Yeah, really. Yeah, I think mean, it's going to be hard to isolate something with no mist, at least. Definitely, a famous yeah. woodland mist. So yeah, I think today might be a, a good chance to sort of practice some of the more kind of intimate photography styles. Um, but yeah, we're going to take a walk around and see if we can find anything. <laughs> On days like today when the conditions aren't perfect for, for woodland photography it can be a really good opportunity to practice a little bit of a more kind of intimate landscape shot. Um, and that's what I've done here. I actually found this knot um, on the side of this trunk here and it caught my eye as just having a really nice shape. You've got this kind of eye in the knot and then this sort of bendy bit moving coming out of it. And I thought it works really well. Um, so I've decided to sort of just zoom in just on that knot and take an image. I've got the knot itself on the right hand third of the image. Um, and these kind of shots are the sort of shots which I always enjoy seeing from other people, but I've never really done much of it myself, but it's something I'd love to try and crack and do a lot more of. So I think today is probably gonna be a really good opportunity to practice my intimate landscape photography. And I think this could be a good start. So I'm essentially trying to win the prize for the most number of photographs taken from one spot. So from the, the knot I was just taking a photo of is, is literally just there and I've just turned around 180 degrees and I'm now taking a shot of the bark and this oak tree. Um, so one of the things I think which often works quite well in intimate shots is having nice textures going on. And I saw this kind of gash um, in the bark of this tree. And on one side we've got green moss, and then you've also got kind of browns and oranges in the bark itself. So, um, and there's a little bit of sort of splattering of lichen going on there too. So I think there's a nice sort of selection of textures here and colors that would work quite well in an intimate shot. So um, I've just literally just turned the camera around um, and I've got it in portrait orientation with a, a kind of um, fissure in the bark going down the middle of the photograph. Um, and I actually really like this image. I think this, this works quite well too. So there's quite a few nice old oaks dotted around this woodland and I'd love to get a shot of one of them and I found this one here which has really nice shape. I like, I, like, I really like the shape of this particular tree. Um, it's been difficult to find a good angle to photograph it from because there's quite a few sort of low shrubby trees around here which obscure most of the views. But by having the camera down low here at this spot I think I've got a mostly clear angle at it with a few ferns in the foreground just to provide a little bit of foreground interest. Um, I'm not loving this shot, but 
uh, yeah, I think I think it's it's kind of the best I've managed so far, just sort of walking around trying to find something. Um, so yeah, I think it's okay. But I'm going to keep walking and see if we can find anything else. And we'll also go and see if Tom's um, see how Tom's getting on too. So I think today is definitely a day when intimate photographs are going to be the way forward. The conditions just aren't that great for photographing the trees and both Tom and I um, were both really struggling today actually. Um, but the favourite shots I've taken so far have been just these close-up shots of bark on the trees and as we're walking back to the car just now we pass this tree which has these really nice lines and colours, there's greens and browns um, going on in this bark here so I thought I'd stop quickly and just whack the camera in portrait orientation. Um, and take this image. So I think we're going to call it a day today. Um, the conditions haven't been brilliant, but um, I think the intimate photos are probably the best way to go. Um, and I've got one or two shots which I think came out all right just when I zoomed in on that bark. Um, but we both struggled quite a bit. We did. Right? I'm going to have to take your images for my video, I think, because <laughs> yeah. I've got uh, nothing. Yeah, you're welcome to them. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's if I've got any anyway. So. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, it's just been great to meet up with Tom. Um, had a really good morning down here. It's, no, it's been great to see him. Um, and if you haven't seen his channel, which, you know, honestly, where have you been if you haven't seen his channel? I'm sure many of you are already very familiar with Tom's channel. Um, but if you haven't seen it, it's youtube.com forward slash photo ninja. Um, and go and have a look. I'll pop a link in the description below. Uh, but until next time, take care. That's fine, I slow it down. Slow motion. <laughs>